It is with great regret that I must inform you that Master Liu Qi has passed away. Now that we have lost the rightful successor to the stewardship of Jin province, Master Sun Quan is sure to stake his own claim to rule the territory. It was the Wu forces which defeated Cao Cao's mighty army. I suppose that will be the justification for his claim that Wu should lead the Jing province now that Cao Cao has let it go. They used the same argument in the past, and we promised them that we would return the four counties in the event of the death of Master Liu Qi. However, we cannot afford to lose this land now. I am afraid we must reject Master Sun Quan's assertion once more. However, it seems certain that unilaterally claiming the four countries and then denying their claims to the land will create a rift between us. Your plan to divide the land in three was prefaced on us being able to ally ourselves with Master Sun Quan in order to defeat Cao Cao. This places it in jeopardy. I can't see Sun Quan and Cao Cao joining forces, but we can't really afford to be too stubborn, or you never know what they'll do. First things first, we need to grab Yi province as soon as we can. But the governor of Yi province is Master Liu Zhang. I reckon Master Liu Bei will be pretty reluctant to attack a member of his own clan. There is no fear on that front. I anticipate that Master Liu Zhang will approach Master Liu Bei of his own accord. Master Liu Zhang will? What do you mean? You will see soon enough. But for now, we must address the concern expressed by Wu. Master Lu Su has sent me a letter expressing his desire to meet for a discussion of the matter. I will head to Shenyang. no end to this. You're saying you will return Jean province to us. Jean was left to Liu Bei by the former master Liu Biao. It makes absolutely no sense to argue about returning. Hmm. Jugo Lia. I thought that given the chance we could work well together. And that is why. There is not a lot of benefit to U if your allies are homeless wanderers. Mm. Master Liu Bei needs his own land. To do that, he cannot lose Jean at this time. Mm. Well then, until that time, we'll lend you Jean province in the four districts. of Jean will someday become the center of this chaotic war. Lu Xu, give me a situation report on Jing province. Yes, my lord. Wu Ling, Shang Sha, Ling Ling, and Gu Yang are all under Liu Bei's control. His army has a firm grip on the south. I have spoken with Jugo Liang, and he regrets to inform us that they have no intention of handing over the territories peacefully. He is claiming that Liu Bei inherited the lands of Jing province from Liu Biao, and that he is their rightful owner. What cowards! First they use us at Chibi, now they try to steal Jing province from us with sophistry. Jing is essential to our plan to divide the land in two. We should take it and make Liu Bei and his followers pay for their betrayal. 
Don't be so hasty, Master Cheng Pu. We are still allies with Liu Bei. Our alliance only exists on paper at this point. How is Zhou Yu faring? Not good, I'm afraid. His wounds are swelling, and there is poison running throughout his body. I'm sorry to hear that, Zhou Yu. We should ask Master Zhou Yu for his thoughts on this matter. Of course, I do not wish to put too much of a strain on him. You're right. We could use some of Zhou Yu's wisdom about now. Let us go and see what he has to say. Zhou Yu, how are you feeling? My lord, I apologize for my appearance. You're fine. Please, conserve your strength. Losing you would be like losing my own right arm. Who needs you now more than ever? My lord, I am not worthy of such praise. It pains me greatly to be incapacitated at such an important time. This is a pivotal moment for Wu's future. Master Zhou Yu, I apologize for this intrusion. As you say, this is a pivotal moment for Wu's future. I was hoping to hear your thoughts on dealing with Liu Bei. What do you think, Lu Su? If we are to divide the land with Cao Cao, it is not wise to make additional enemies. Furthermore, from the viewpoint of a wanderer like Liu Bei, gaining a land of his own is probably his most heartfelt desire. For argument's sake, let's say he has a compelling reason for making such a move. I can understand that. Therefore, I think we should loan Jin Province to Liu Bei for the time being and prioritize our alliance. Yes. I agree with you. However, it is clear that we can no longer trust Zhuge Liang. I have a feeling they may seek to dissolve our alliance. In order to prevent that, we are going to have to form even stronger ties with them. Ties? Hmm. Perhaps I should call it a bond or connection. Our alliance can be strengthened through the use of a strategic marriage. Princess, I want you to marry Liu Bei in order to solidify the alliance between our kingdoms. Huh? Zhou Yu, have you lost your mind? If the princess and Liu Bei were to marry, it would create a strong bond between Wu and Shu. That would carry over into our alliance and enable us to face Cao Cao without having to watch our back. Princess, I beg of you. I am in need of your help to ensure the future of Wu. I won't allow it. Shang Xiang is my sister, not some tool to be bargained with. Very well, Jiu Yu. Huh? Princess, you have my eternal gratitude. Shang Xiang, do you know what this means? This is not just your average marriage. You will lose all your freedom and be forced to live in a land you don't even know. Is that what you really want? Thank you, Chuan. However, I feel this is what is necessary for Wu at the present time. The chaos continues with no end in sight, and Cao Cao is sure to attack us again. If I can help our cause in this way, then it will be an honor to do it. Besides, I can honestly say that I kind of like Lord Liu Bei. Well then, I shall go and present this offer to Master Liu Bei. Lu Su, please bring Liu Bei here at the time of the ceremony. If he refuses to come, then forget about everything we've discussed here. Hmm. As you wish.
I must do whatever I can to secure Ooh's future while I still draw breath, no matter how much it may stain my reputation in the process. Princess, I only hope that you can forgive me. So Ooh offers to marry Lady Shangxiang to me in order to strengthen our alliance? Yes. They have reluctantly agreed to our solution to the Jing province problem, but they still do not seem to trust us. I suppose they believe that if the alliance is strengthened by marriage, there will be no possibility of betrayal. I understand that, but it seems awfully unfair to Lady Shangxiang. I appreciate your concern, my lord, but... Our alliance with Wu is essential to my plan to divide the land in three. It is my belief that this match is very much to our benefit. I never expected the princess to be the type of woman to get married. She is wise and kind-hearted. I believe she is doing what she knows is best for Wu. I heard that Master Huan Gai wept when he heard the news. The princess sure is popular. So, when is Master Liu Bei due to arrive here? I believe he should be here shortly. As such, I suppose we ought to go back to making our rounds. Don't you find this a bit strange? This should be a celebration, but security is tighter than ever. And most of them are Master Zhou Yu's men. Master Liu Bei is set to become the princess's husband. We need to have men we can trust in case something happens. I see. I hope that's all it is. It appears Liu Bei has just arrived. He should be joining us shortly. Xiang Xiang, are you absolutely sure this is what you want? Yes, brother. Thank you for your concern, though. After all these years watching over you, Princess, to think that you're finally getting married. I couldn't stop crying. Come on now, Huangai. It's not like we'll never see each other again. What's the matter, Lu Su? Is something troubling you? No. It's just that Master Zhou Yu was acting a bit strange. Show you. Master Lu Su, you know what's strange is all of the security around here. It seems Master Zhou Yu's men have locked the place down. Master Zhou Yu's men? No, it can't be. Ah, I am such a fool. How could I not see this coming sooner? What is it, Lu Su? My lord, I believe that Master Zhou Yu is planning to assassinate Master Liu Bei. What? How can you be so sure? This marriage is simply a ruse. I believe Master Zhou Yu's intention is to lure Master Liu Bei into the open and then wait for a chance to kill him. Master Zhou Yu knows just how dangerous Master Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang are to our cause. He must have decided on this plan after the situation with Jing. Impossible! We need to get Master Liu Bei out of here right away. If this plot actually goes down, we'll have bigger problems than just losing an ally. Wait, what if Zhou Yu is right? Wouldn't it benefit Wu immensely if we killed Liu Bei? Cheng Pu! No, you're wrong. You're suggesting that we invite somebody here to a wedding under false pretenses and then kill him. Who could ever trust such people? If we want to do what's best for Wu, then we need to keep our promises. I am going to marry Lord Liu Bei. Please, everybody. I need your blessing, as well as your help. For Lord Liu Bei's sake, as well as Zhou Yu's, Princess? I understand how you feel, Princess. 
I promise to do whatever I can to help you achieve your wish. I'll fight for you, no matter what. Xu Xiang, thank you. I'm here for you too, princess. I would hate to miss a chance to see you on your wedding day. Cheng Pu, my lord, for the sake of Wu, please escort Master Liu Bei to safety. Very well. We must put a stop to Zhou Yu's plan. Zhou Yu? Princess, leave the rest to us. Thank you, everyone. But now, Lord Liu Bei and I must be going. Lady Shang Xiang? I swore to protect you, Princess. Please, allow me to come with you. No, I need you by someone else's side, Lian Chu. <laughs> I think you know who I'm talking about. Princess. Tell my brother that as long as I am alive, the alliance between Wu and Shu shall be unwavering. And tell Zhou Yu, thank you for me. Princess, please take care of yourself. Lady Shang Xiang, I'm afraid this arrangement will be most inconvenient for you. There's no need to worry about me. Of course, my brother and the others have their own opinions, but I come here of my own volition. To be honest, I couldn't be happier. You came here of your own volition? What do you mean? You're... you're gonna make me say it out loud? <sighs> We're husband and wife now, right? We will sort it all out eventually. I look forward to our new life, Lord Liu Bei. Yes. I hope we will be very happy together. It seems my blade failed to find its mark. It is better this way, Zhou Yu. The alliance between Wu and Liu Bei is stronger than ever now, just like you said it would be. I believe that will be true for the time being. However, given the problem with Jing, I am afraid we will be unable to avoid further conflict with Liu Bei. At that time, it is going to hit you, and especially the princess, rather hard, my lord. More than anybody, you've risked your life to protect U. Nobody blames you for what you have done. My lord. I will not let your passion for U go unanswered. I promise to do whatever it takes to protect our people. But for now, try to get some rest. Unless... You don't trust me to do the job properly. No. I think... I can rest easily. Now. Zhou Yu! We may have placed too heavy of a burden upon Zhou Yu's shoulders. I suppose we were so caught up in our victory at Chibi that we failed to notice. The boy we once knew has grown into a fine young man. We must focus on supporting Wu's efforts going forward. It seems our life of easy retirement is gonna have to wait. Where are you going, Cheng Pu? I'm going to have a drink with Zhou Yu. Will wonders never cease? Hello, Master Cheng Bu. You look like you're feeling better. Care to join me for a drink? As long as you're feeling up to it, of course. Are you sure you wish to drink with a greenhorn like me? You have performed admirably in the service of Wu. 
I do not doubt your credentials any longer. Grr. It seems I forgot to bring the cups. Ah. Get a hold of yourself. Master Chang Pu. We need you to train all of the other Greenhorns in our army. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day you were scolding me. Wait a moment. I'll be right back. Master Chang Pu, I leave the rest to you. Sun Tzu, I hope I was able to live up to your expectations for me. Lastly, my lord, I hope you can forgive me for abandoning my path midway through. Joe Yu? Curse you, Greenhorn! Joe Yu, please say hello to my brother for me. And thank you for your loyal service. <laughs>